Hey everyone, Dan Heilman here, and today we're gonna have a guide on Ace, uh, Awaken Chaos Era, the new game I've been playing. It's in beta, closed beta. Uh, this is the fourth round of betas. Um, I'm not sure if there's still spots, so if you're not already in, I'm sorry, you may not be able to get in, but uh, it's on Android Store, so if there is spots left, you'll still be able to get in. Let's begin. Okay, uh, I'll try to keep this video under 30 minutes. Um, there's a lot to go over. This game has a lot of stuff going on for it, so I'll try to touch all of them. Uh, I'll begin with rare champions. I'll move on to uh, where everything is, how everything works, and then I'll give some tips. Okay, let's begin. So for heroes, click the heroes, bottom left, right behind me. Um, and let's talk about rares first, because obviously they're called elites in here. Um, Let's talk about those first. There's a couple that you should keep an eye out for and a couple that are pretty solid units. So Zachary is by far the best elite unit. Uh, he is an AOE damage dealer. Um, yeah, if you get copies of, of Zachary, keep them. Don't get rid of them right away. Um, extra copies are used to give uh, pink stars. Um, you know to ascend them that's how that's how you do it you feed copies of the same hero so this game already has a dupe system unlike <laughs> unlike raid shadow legends <laughs> uh, anyways um there's a couple other good ones i'll talk about real quick um evelyn is a decent boss damage dealer um not as good as zachary um celine's okay not as good as zachary raven is a poisoner um, so she could be used for bosses, you know, poison damages based on enemy max HP. So really good for bosses. Um, this girl, Marion, is decent. If you're using a lot of damage dealers, she has life leech, but she's kind of hard to keep alive. Um, she gives life leech to the entire team. So she's kind of cool. And Abbott. That's the last one I'll measure for rare units. Abbott is a healer. Um, and all his healing scales off his max HP, so uh, pretty cool. He also has a cleanse, so. Okay, those are all the rare units. Um, I won't talk too much about any other heroes because there's a lot of heroes in the game, and since it's closed beta and it's only been out for a couple days, uh, today's day six, but technically day five because day one, it came out like 11 p.m. at night. Um, so there's a lot of heroes, a lot of changes that happen. There's even new heroes. So a lot of heroes have not been tested. Um, so I'll just leave it there. You can kind of see who I'm using. Um, this girl, Hydrissia, is very strong. There's another dragon guy who's actually an epic, uh, Zatlux. He is extremely strong. Um, Bulb is pretty good. Blackhorn is pretty good. This girl, Antinua, you can get her in the 99 cent pack. I would a thousand percent recommend buying that 99 cent pack. Uh, you do get your money back um, at the end of this in the form of tokens, and when the game releases, you'll be able to use it again. So any money you spend in the game right now will carry over to global launch, um, which should be end of October. That's the current date. Uh, this girl hits pretty hard. She's in a one dollar pack with a full set of four star or five star legendary gear uh gear is very hard to get in this game i would a thousand percent recommend that 99 cent pack um otherwise you're going to be struggling pretty hard for gear uh windstrex is a very good buffer she's got a speed buff and attack up uh she re resets people's ultimate abilities and also has uh speed down Okay, that's all I'll talk about heroes right now. Um, let me just kind of go through and show you where everything is and how to get to everything. Let me put myself in the middle so I'm not covering any buttons here. And then let's talk about just kind of what the buttons do here. So dungeon, you got a bunch of stuff in here that you're able to do. Endless trial. Um, it's kind of like Rage of Destiny, actually, where you have... You go through and you complete levels and you... It's like the very similar to Rage of Destiny or Magnum Quest if you played any of those. Um, so it's like the Trial and Magnum Quest. Uh, very similar. Um, I don't know that the rewards are too amazing from there, but anyways. Um, no Man's Land. This one has some skill units. So basically materials to level up your skills. Um, so very cool. This game already has a way to farm skills. You know, unlike Raid Shadow Legends again. Uh, I hate to compare this game to Raid Shadow Legends, but it's uh, pretty much the closest game. This one is kind of a combination of Raid Shadow Legends and a couple other games. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, you have bounties. Uh, this is like 
for those of you guys who played Summoner's Glory with me, um, this is like the anabasis in Summoner's Glory. You send your units out. Oh no, I'm sorry. Dispatch. You send your units out, um, and you can see when they end, you clear, you get your rewards. Um, yeah, so you just send your units out. They're out there for a couple hours. They come back and you get your rewards. Uh, bounty hunt is just something you do every day. Uh, and you get rewards for doing it. You get five attempts a day, and you basically just clear through this whole thing, and you get more and more as you go on. Um, Arcane Dungeon pops from time to time. This is 100% the best way to get experience in the game right now. You can pop a potion that gives you more experience uh, generated, and then you just clear this thing. You basically go through here. Um, You'll see an active buff here when you have your XP buff up. But basically, you go through here, you clear all these waves, and then you get a lot of experience at the end. Experience works different in this game. Experience, so see, all of my heroes right here are max level. So when they're max level, you just get these little experience cubes. And then you can level up whoever you want. So that is an awesome feature. I really like it. Um, this pops just by using um, stamina, bread, whatever this food source is uh meals i guess by using i'll call it stamina by using stamina you have a chance to trigger this you can go in here clear it and you get a lot of jelly which is experience okay um void tower so void tower there's three levels um normal hard and mythic uh same as campaign there's three different types of difficulties for a campaign as well um, you go through here and basically you go through and you get rewards you actually get a lot of pumpkins which are the same things as chickens um, in raid shadow legends they're used as food so and you also get summoning tokens you get all sorts of stuff in here so void tower is very good loot you can see here normal hard and mythic um, this last one right here is where you get all your gear. These are the gear dungeons. You can get different sets depending on which one you clear. Uh, for most people, Tulpa is going to be the one they want because it has health sets, it has speed sets, and it has crit rate sets. So, okay. That's all, all the stuff in that first menu, dungeon menu. You have arena, of course, um, just like any other arena. You have different rankings. You go through, challenge people, you get rewards. Um, you get a bunch of tokens. You actually get to farm tokens just by playing the game, which is kind of cool. You can say I have 17 out of 10. Um, so that's that. Adventure. Bottom right. This is the campaign. So, oops. The campaign. There's this button right here, this minus. That's how you, like, zoom out and see the whole campaign. But you can, like, go to any chapter. If I click chapter 2, I can just click... I'm in the way. I can click the Mythic, and you can just change it to whatever difficulty you want. I'm in Mythic now, which is the most difficult, um, so that's where I am now. Um, while you're going through here, I just want to point out... Let's see. Hard. Does hard have them? No, we need to go to normal. Okay, there's these S levels here. Um, S1, these drop really good loot the first time you do them. They drop, uh, you can only clear them one time, um, and they're fairly difficult, but you, you get guaranteed loot from here. Um, you also get guaranteed loot in the campaign. So, you'll get a set, uh, let me just show you the set real quick. Um, if you go to gear, I forget which set is which. There's a four star set of this crit gear, and a five star set of the crit gear. Uh, I got one from the 99 cent pack, and I got the other one from the campaign. Um, gear is very hard to level up in this game. That is kind of the bottleneck, uh, and gear is very hard to get. So I only have, like, two good sets of gear. So, yeah. Work on... When you first get in here, go ahead and work on the campaign. Clear as far as you can, especially because after you get to Chapter 2, and you complete Chapter 2, you get a rookie summon and the rookie summon gives you five different pages of summons and you can choose each one it gives you a chance um a choice of three legendaries which is very cool uh you get to pick the legendary so um it's usually a healer it's usually brand it's usually bulb the demon guy that i have um so those are usually the three choices um either take the healer her name's like my the asia <laughs> my the asia and there's also bulb um either of those are good picks so those are for the rookie summons okay um 
Not much to talk about in campaign here. You can borrow people's units, uh, similar to other games. So if I want to like do something here and I want to just hit battle, you'll go up to your setup screen. You can click this. Oh, my head's in the way. Oops. Sorry. Uh, this clover right here, and you can see that I can borrow other people's units. Um, so this is useful. You can only do it three times a day for each person. Um, so if you're really stuck on, you know, a stage, you can use someone else's units to help you get past that stage. So that's uh, pretty useful to know. Uh, just general navigation. Okay, so we went through all the buttons in the bottom right now. That's everything there. Um, Let's just talk about how you level up heroes and how you evolve them and all that stuff. So if you go to heroes, bottom left, there's a button for heroes. Um, and let's level up someone. Who do I want to level up? Let's, uh, I have a bunch of food now that's kind of in my way. Let me, um, yeah, let me just level up someone random here. I'll just do level up some food. Okay, so all you do is you click details over here. And this is using the food jelly I was talking about. So you just hit upgrade until they're max level. Uh, very similar to other games where you see this is a two-star unit. If I go to the altar, um, now this is how you upgrade them is using the altar, right? So I have a two-star unit. He's level 20. He has to be max level. Then you put two other two-star units and you promote him. And now he's three-star. And now his level max level is 30. So then all you do is you rinse and repeat. You just hit the back button and you just level up some more and you keep doing it this is how you level up your food this is how you level up all your heroes um i love the xp jelly instead of having to actually carry them through the campaign to level them this one you just get those little jelly cubes and you level whoever you want um okay while i'm in here let's just talk about gear and glyphs and all the other cool stuff so i'm gonna get off of him because i can't ascend him let me show you my zachary um ascending so this is cool this is what you do with duplicates here so all you do is you put a copy of um put a copy of the same unit in there and you can ascend them and you get these stats so for one copy i got 15 percent more attack um the next one i got my trait up uh there's traits in this game so you have a passive trait and then you have actual spells or abilities right so the passive trait um Upon defeating an enemy, launches a bonus attack to deal 50% damage to all enemies. That's why Zachary is so strong. So if he kills one enemy, even with a single target, then he does an AoE. Okay? Um, and when you ascend him, it, instead of doing 50% damage, it does 80% damage. You can also skill up all of these. All you do is go to ability here on the right-hand side. Um, and you just press upgrade ability. Um, these... These little stones you farm in a dungeon. There's one for each um, each type, you know, so fire, uh, grass, water, holy, and darkness. That's not the exact names, but those are the colors at least. Um, there's five different types. And you can level up abilities using this button here. And this is probably one of the first things you want to focus on. So now I have max abilities on him um, because these are fairly easy to farm and they grant a lot of power. You see, it reduces cooldown and it does 30% more damage to his ultimate ability. Um, this one's just pure damage. This one's just pure damage. But uh, some units, they'll have two, basically, turn reductions here. So it can go from like a six to like a four turn ability. So upgrading abilities is extremely important. That's probably one of the first things I would focus on after you got your units up to like a usable level, you know, like level 50, level 60, then focus on abilities, then focus on gear, and then focus on glyphs. Um, you can kind of focus on gear and glyphs together, but abilities, I would definitely focus first um, for progression. Glyphs are, is kind of an interesting system. So what you do is you can see I'm glyph level one, all these guys are level one glyphs. So if I throw some glyphs in here, now I upgraded all of these to level one. So now I can upgrade this whole glyph thing to level two. And you can see the bonus stats I'm getting here. You can see I got crit rate, I got defense, attack, health, speed, blah, blah, blah. So then now I can continue to upgrade this. So I can get more crit damage now. So if I hit activate, 
Boom. I got more crit damage now. And you can go up. I don't know. Um, the highest I have right now is Glyph level 4. I do not know how high it goes. That might be the max, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so Glyphs is another way to strengthen your character. Um, gear is pretty obvious. Let me show you some gear um, and how it works. So... If you hit manage gear, you have this whole gear manager where you can look through and see basically the gear that's on your character right now. You can see the stats uh, behind my head here. And then if you want to like say try out this weapon, you can see how much stats you lose from equipping that weapon. And you can also hide equipped or show equipped or whatever. You can click the different items. You can choose whatever sets you want. You can choose main stat, secondary stat, etc. Um, so as far as stats go, you can kind of see what rolls on what using this. So weapon, only attack can roll. Helm, only health can roll for primary stat. Chest, only defense. Boots, you can see, have attack, attack percent, health percent, flat health, speed, etc. You really want speed um, on your boots because speed is so important in all of these games. One important thing about this game is you cannot lap people. So what that means is having extremely high speed is not as important. Basically, the person who has the highest speed goes first, but they cannot go twice in a turn. So that's very important to note. Um, that is very different to other games. And then you have accessories. So you have a ring and an amulet. Um, the ring main stats. You usually want crit rate. Um, crit rate's very strong, obviously. And for the amulet, I mean, I'm talking the damage dealer, obviously. Um, you have things like crit damage and defense and attack and etc. So then let me show you how to upgrade items. So, okay, that's how to find items. That's, you know, you got sets. Uh, this set that you get in the beginning, um, you can actually hold. If you hold, click on one of these items, you can see what stats. Uh, that's the only way to see what's equipped on your character through this screen. Um, and you can see at 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15, you get different stats. So I got four stats on there um, because it's level 12. You can see it rolled uh, double into crit damage, one into defense, one into attack. So let me just show you how you do it. Uh, and this is the hardest part in the game is upgrading your items. It is very difficult to upgrade items. So if I, oh, I can't do it from the screen because it's already equipped, okay. So let me just show you here. Um, click on the item, hit enhance, and you use these tokens. You can obviously use other gear, but like look at how little this levels. Like it's very minimal. Okay, so you can use those, but then you get these stones that are actually very rare. Um, and these are how you really increase the level of things. So you can see here, if I use two of these for amulets, um, this will get me to nine. And this will, since I'm going from five to nine, I'll get two extra stats. So let's see where they go. Um, I'm really hoping for crit rate. I need more crit rate. I am not crit cap. So let's go crit rate. Double into crit rate. -hoo -hoo. Streamer luck. All right, cool. So that's exactly what I needed. Um, does that make me crit capped? I think that might make me crit capped on her. Let's see. Details. Info. Okay, I got 108% crit. Okay, awesome. So now I'm crit capped on this character. That is very nice. Uh, this is my main carry. She does the most amount of damage. Um... Ascensions are going to be very difficult for legendaries, obviously, because you need a copy of them or you need an ascension material, um, which are very rare and you can purchase them and they're very expensive. Um, so I talked about completing campaign when you first get in here. I talked about the altar. I talked about gear. Um, one thing is different quests you want to do. So to progress, you want to focus on quests. This foodie person right here, if you click on him, um, I would focus on these first because you get a lot of rewards from here and um, there's just a lot to do in here. So these are good. You get this character called Foodie. Do not use this guy as food, as fodder. You can use him as food, but use him to go all the way to a five star, okay? Because when you upgrade his level, um, it's 20% reduced experience to get him to a level. So use him to get to a five star to feed to a five star to make a six star. Um, 
and your very first quest in the foodie guide is to or one of the quests here is to use foodie and i actually got rid of my foodie i used them as a chicken um because i didn't know any better and i was stuck very long right here promote foodie once i was stuck for like two or three days on this quest because i got rid of my foodie so foodies are very rare use them as food um yeah these are these foodie guide quests are very important because you get stuff like this this ancient summoning crystal um so that's very cool. I'll show you some summons in a little bit. Um, but let me talk about other quests to complete. Obviously, if you go into quests, you have daily quests. You have weekly class quests, and you have achievements. And these all give you materials. So try to get your dailies done every day. I've already done all mine. Um, and your weeklies. I've already completed all the weeklies. There's also quests in this magic pass up here. Um, and this is just for, like, getting experience and stuff. If you click this, it shows... That just for using energy and just for using uh, arena tokens, you get experience towards this. This is also a battle pass. So um, you can get a legendary, this guy right here, for $9.99 um, if you purchase this. And you just have to get to... I'm almost there. And then I could purchase this guy for $9.99. I already have him, so don't know that I'll buy that kit. But I have spent a little bit of money in this game. Okay, those are pretty much it for quests. Oh, if you click on this girl right here... You have these quests, focus on these quests. Um, like you have this Master of the Element, and these are only open on certain days, right? Only one of these is open a day. So I would try to knock this out because if you get all the way to the end, I mean, there's some really good rewards in here. Here I got fire scrolls for summoning fire heroes. Um, this one right here. No, one of the ones you get something really good. Oh, this one, Hero Development. I'm on the very last one here. I need to get this to level 12, and this is the Ascension Stones. These are the materials that I said was extremely rare, um, and they're like $80 to buy them um, in the pack. So, try to bust out these quests. There's a lot of quests. Um, there's also this button in the top right here. This button in the top right will basically give you everything, okay? So, this is everything in the game. Um, you got the market, which otherwise is you wouldn't isn't obvious how to get there. Uh, but you got the diamond shop here. So this is the premium currency that you get um, for doing stuff in the game or buying packs. And this is how you buy shards. So I'll buy some shards and I'll do a pull for you real quick. Um, so let's just do that real quick. Buy 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll just buy one just to make sure I have 10. Okay. There's all sorts of shops in here. So... You got shops for dismissing heroes. You can dismiss them and then you get stuff and you can do other summons. You got guild vault. This is from doing the guild boss. There's guilds, guild boss, you know, friends list, all the good stuff in here. Arena shop, trial shop, um, gold shop. This one, I buy the charms out every day and I buy the glyphs out. Um, you can reset it. You can get good gear in here. I mean, this is five-star gear. Obviously, that's only green, but let me just reset it real quick. And I do come in here every day and look. Um, like this one is decent. I buy these up because I have a lot of gold. Uh, and I've never really had trouble with gold. So I do buy some of these up when there's very good things. This is a double health ring with speed. Um, five-star. That's good for a tank. I might pick that up. Assassin ring. I've never seen this one. Okay. Revival ring. Restores. 8% of max health at the start of the turn. 42,000. Um, this is a 6-star with defense and speed. So I'll grab that. And I'll grab these glyphs. Glyphs are kind of hard to farm, especially the epic ones, the level 4 ones. Um, so there's definitely some good stuff in the shop. Check that out. But don't spend all your gold there. Um, next up top is we have the mail. This is where they send you mail. When, you, when they do a patch, they send you some gems. Um, this is your backpack. So you have a bunch of stuff in here. You can see basically everything you have. You get these little matrix. You collect 60 of these. They're like fragments and you get a, and you get a hero. Um, you just got all sorts of stuff in here. You can see all your gear, etc. And then you got your friends list. So these are all my friends. Again, you can borrow heroes from your friends. So that's good to note. Um, guild. You have a guild boss, which is under battle, and you get gear from it. So that's cool. In the info, you can check in behind me. Um, so just sign in. Um, yeah. 
events. Events are cool. They're All right, so in in events, um there is a sign in. It won't automatically take you. You have to go in here and click it. So just FYI, there's a gear collection event going on right now uh that has very good rewards. I'm almost at the last reward. Um they give you items and they're kind of RNG, so sometimes they're total garbage, but sometimes they're good. This is just literally from collecting gear in dungeons. Um, and then there's a hero summoning one, which I already completed. This is for summoning heroes, and you get a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much everything in the game. Every You can click all these different people, and you have different covenant quests. you got quests everywhere, but you can get to everything through the star in the top right. So this is where everything is. Go in here, you got quests, you got achievements, you got all this good stuff. So make sure you're trying to complete as much of this stuff as you can every day. This is a game you can spend a lot of time in if that's what you want to do. So, yeah. All right, so during gameplay, you can do multi-battles, uh, 10 rounds. Uh, you can also click these portraits in the bottom. Um, hold on, let me pause that because it's about to end. Um, so in settings, one thing that's very important to note, if you don't like the ulti animation, um, you can turn off this click box and then you don't have to see it every time. It saves some time, um, so you may want to do that. But the other thing is if you click their portrait, you can turn off their skills. So if it shows the circle, that means they will not use any abilities and they will only use their number one skill, their, their basic attack. Um, so that's not kind of useful. There's a couple characters that you may want to do that for. Um, there's one of the poisoners who's a rare, I think her name's Evelyn. Um, she, you can turn off her abilities and then you can just have her use her A1 always, which lands poisons. Um, yeah, so here's the battle result. Uh, these are for materials to level up skills. Uh, I've been farming this one so I can max out my skills on my fire characters. Let's do a summon to finish out the video here. You click this um, little dragonfly, dragon, butterfly, little creature, and you can summon. Um, you do have a pity system. You can see the percentage pity you're at. Um, I've got a lot of legendaries, so I'm at 0%. Oh, it's behind me. You can see I'm at 0%. Um, but let's go. All right, we'll do 110 pull here for the video. And if the beam turns gold, you know you have at least an epic. All right, so we got at least an epic. So that's cool. Well, let's see what we get for the video. Brazak. Okay. I don't have him, actually. All right. So I got one epic and a bunch of blues. I actually wanted a copy of Mar Marion, so that's cool. Okay. That's it for the video. That's my beginner guide. Um, I guess I didn't talk about the shop. But let me just talk about the shop very quickly. Um, this 99 cent pack... A thousand percent you should buy that if you don't buy anything else buy this pack because of the gear that comes with it and she is a decent hero for sure she's a good uh, single target damage dealer um, there is a bunch of packs in here you can spend a lot of money if you'd like um, so if you're a whale and that's your thing go for it they got monthly cards and they got you know just purchasing the premier currency um, for dollars You can also have support heroes. This is how you set your support hero um, so that other people can borrow them. Okay, that's it for the video. Um, I'm just under 30 minutes. I want to keep it there. A uh, lot to do. I'm really enjoying the game. The game is actually a blast. I'm having so much fun. Um, I can't stop playing it. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go down there, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And have a great day, everyone. There will be more Magnum Quest, Rage of Destiny, and now Ace videos coming out. Um, so hope you enjoy the content. I don't know that I'm going to be playing Nier anymore. Um, I don't get a lot of views on the Nier videos. And when I did a poll on the channel, almost no one wanted Nier videos. So I think I'm going to switch over to Ace. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.